In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to move your parts up and down. Or if you like, you can call it an elevator. For example, currently I'm taking the elevator up and when I reach the top, the elevator will come back down. So now let's take a look at the script for building that part. Here I have my part and I'm going to add a script to it. The part is named test part. I'm going to start by declaring local part equals to script dot parent. And then I'm going to change the parts color. So I'm going to say part dot brick color equals to brick color dot random. So I'm just going to pick a random color for the, the part. And you don't need to change the brick color, but I like my game to be colorful. So I like to pick different colors for the part. Next, we're going to build a function to move the part up. So I'm going to declare local function. And let's call it move up. To move a part, all you need to do is to add a vector 3 to the part C frame. So let's start with part dot C frame equals to part dot C frame and we're going to add the vector 3. Vector 3 dot new and here we're going to enter the X, Y and Z values. So to move the part up, your X and Z are going to be 0. So it's going to be 0, comma, and the Y number is going to be how much you want to move up as compared to how much you want to add to the Y value of the C frame. So let's just add point 0.1, and my Z value is going to be 0 as well. Now, this is... This is only going to move the part by point 0.1 up. So if you want to build, say, like uh, an elevator, you need to have a repetition. So to do that, you got to put it inside a for loop. So I'm going to say for i equals to 1. And let's do it for 300 times do. Let me cut and paste this into the for loop. And also, I'm going to put in a weight because I don't want the loop to go by too fast, right? It's going to go so fast that you cannot see anything. So anytime you have a loop, it's always good to put in a weight. I'm going to wait 0 0.02. To do the move down function, it's extremely simple. Just going to copy this move up and paste it down here. And I'm just going to change a few values. First thing you need to change is the function name. So instead of move up, it's going to be move down. And instead of moving up by 0.1, it's going to be moving by negative 0.1. That would take it down. So those are the two functions to move the part up and down. Now all we need to do is to call those functions. So I'm going to create a while loop. While true do which means I'm going to do this continuously forever, nonstop, right? And let's start by moving the part up because I'm going to start with the part being on the ground. So let's start by moving it up. So I'm going to say move up. And then I'm going to wait for maybe five seconds. So it's going to keep on moving up 300 times. Each time it's going to move by 0.1 until, until it reaches the top and it's going to wait for 5 seconds. And then we're going to call the function move down to move the part down and we're going to wait for 5 seconds at the bottom.
let's run it to test. Let me see if I can catch it real quick. So it's gonna take me with it like an elevator. Oh, that was too, oh, I got it. But then I fell off of it. All right, we'll catch it on the next flight. So um, right now it's moving up and I believe it has reached the top and it's coming down. So remember when it reaches the top, it waits for five seconds. And this time I should be able to get it. Hopefully I won't fall off. Let me turn around. Or maybe I can do it this way. Oh, okay. And there it is. So the part is moving up with me on it. Kind of like an elevator. And it's moving down. 